hello guys welcome back to my channel again my name is sophia as you guys already know hope you're having a great day so today i really want this video to be short if possible 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes um let's say 20 minutes <laughs> i can't even say but i'm hoping this video will be short okay guys so um let me not tell you what i'm doing i just keep watching and you'll see what i want to show you guys i know you guys some of you already know how to make this particular um food that i want to make um but anyway just stay tuned and see it okay guys okay guys so this is a surprise i'm sure by you guys seeing it you already know what i'm about to do if you're someone that eats this kind of food i'm sure you guys know the name already if you know it leave the comment leave it in the comment box there before I finish this video <laughs> or before I finish making what I want to make now okay so actually I'm making this video because I know everybody has different method of making this thing here I don't want to mention the name because a lot of you may already know when I finish making it I'll tell you the name or you might see the name on the title <laughs> of the video yeah because some people cook it in the in the cooker some people cook it in the uh, microwave but i know in data state we don't cook it all you need is your bowl your gari which is cassava grain or cassava flake whatever whichever way you want to call it and your boiled hot water that's all that's required and of course your stick to turn it so what you need to do first is put your water your boiled it has to be boiled can you see the steam? I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of the water. So you just pour the water. This particular one I'm making is for three people. Okay? So it's going to be quite a lot. Just pour the water in the plastic or your container. Make sure you still have water here. And then you're going to get some of the cassava from here. If I can get it open, yes. Okay, guys. So you take some cassava. This my bowl is broken, but I'm still using it like that. Just take some cassava, um, grain, flake, whichever you call it, and sprinkle it on the water. As I say, some people already know how to do this. But some people, they do it like this and still put it in microwave. I don't think it's necessary. But anyway, everybody with the way they make their food. Yeah, some people probably think it needs to be cooked, so they cooked it. Remember, this is already cooked by frying it. When they fry it with the red palm oil or palm nut oil, they've already cooked it. So all you need is just hot water. You don't need microwave. Just assuming you don't have a microwave. So what are you going to do? You know? So you don't need microwave. You don't need to cook it. But as I say, everybody will do the way they cook their food. But it doesn't really need cooking anymore. It just needs boiled hot water. Okay guys, so can you see what I've done? And there's some dry one on the top as well. So now what you do, you take the remaining hot water and put it on top of it. Just like so. See there's water on top of it. Let me bring the camera closer if you guys can see. Let's bring the camera closer. Um, move it down a bit. Oops yeah so there's water it's already absorbing the water so you can add more water so the gary is not too hard when it's done so what you now do is cover it just cover it when you cover it <laughs> that is the stick for turning it when you cover it i'm going to get rid of this one from here Okay, guys, so cover it and leave it for like um, between um, three minutes, three to four minutes. Sometimes I leave it for five minutes. This process of covering is just so the gari will have a bit of starch to it. That's why we cover it back home in data state. If it's gari, the gari you are using, if it doesn't have starch, when you cover it, it gives it a bit of starch. But this particular gari I'm using already has starch. So I'm not going to leave it for a very long time. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to boil more water just in case I need to add water when I'm stirring the gari. 
okay guys so stay tuned okay guys so my water has boiled i got cold water here this cold water is just for my hand and for this and this has been sitting for like almost five minutes so you see open it up this is where the work begin so now you take a stick and you turn it so the reason for the cold water is in case anyone is coming here i can put my hand in cold water and put it back so this part of the video before i start staring <laughs> i'm going to actually um kind of fast forward the staring part because the staring part take a little while so but what i'm going to do is continue to stay until i get the smoothness i want okay guys As you can see, I have stirred it to the smoothness I want. That's why I like yellow gari. So, you guys should tell me what is this called. Some people call it gari, but it's not gari anymore. The gari is before it turned into this. Okay? So, tell me what it's called in the comment section. It's not gari. This is not gari anymore. It has changed from gari to this so now gary is the dry one okay so now i've got to the consistency i want so all i need to do now okay all i need to do is just smooth it properly Make sure your hands are clean whenever you are making this food. And you use clean water. So guys, yeah. Hopefully this video has to be more than too long necessarily. Let's hope it's not more than it's not more than 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I can't even see okay guys so this part is just to make it look pretty okay just to make it look pretty this is how we do it if you are from data state there's a chance data state ninja data urobo or usoko there's a chance you probably know how to do this like this if you were born back home if you are born in abroad you might not really have a lot of idea on how to do it like this. Or maybe if you do it, maybe your parents or someone may have taught you how to. But anyway, that's how we do it back home. Or you just learn it yourself. Okay, guys. So, yeah. So, this is my Eba. Ready. Now I've called the name Eba. So, this is Eba. <laughs> now that I finish, it's from Garina to Eba. So, it's ready. So all I need to do now is cover it. Yeah, and you can eat this. Let me bring my face so you guys can see my face over here. If I can move this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. So that's the end of this video. I hope you learn one or two things. As I say, everybody with the way they make their food. But this particular food, I just feel it does not require microwave. It does not require um, cooking it on the cooker or on the stove. 
it just needs just hot water yeah boiled hot water and that's it okay guys so now it's called eba so you can eat it with your favorite food before it turned into this it was cassava green cassava flake i don't know but cassava dry one which is gary okay if you don't like yellow gary you can use white ijebu or ghana white gary but this is nigeria one this is the one my husband brought from nigeria okay yeah guys thanks for watching love you all don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up share it subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching catch you in my next video bye